Look how high my undies are right now. Like you can't even see my belly button. 22 weeks pregnant. Definitely bigger than my first pregnancy with Fox. Obviously it's like my second pregnancy. Last night I asked Kurt for a foot massage and I think I only did that once with Fox. Like when I was maybe like 38 weeks pregnant, I was like, oh, my feet hurt a little bit. But I just, like I feel pregnant. Like I feel do you know what I mean? Anyway, welcome back to my channel. I thought it would be really helpful for you guys and even fun for myself to sit down and film a video about newborn essentials or just newborn products I won't be using with this baby that I purchased with Fox or I tried with Fox. Also, if I seem out of breath in this video, if you've been pregnant, like you already know, like even just having a conversation, it's like I've been sprinting on the treadmill. One thing I won't be using with this newborn, I mean like, I still have it. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna rely on it. Like I've bought two other versions. This baby swing. You need to see it in action. Let's get a fake baby, meaning a bear. I nearly just said his name, like we've obviously, well not obviously, I'm pretty sure. We're like 99% sure we've decided on this baby's name, except the middle name. <laughs> I have the first and middle name that I love together, but Kurt doesn't like it. Anyway, I just got this one from Baby Bunting, which was like our local baby store. I honestly bought this because I thought it was just convenient, like it was up the street, I could just buy it and bring it straight home. Fox hated it. He likes it now. Like he's two and a half and he'll pretend to be a baby and sit in it. I still own it, so I'll give it a go. Like I'll put this baby in it. But for the new one that I've purchased for my next baby, which by the way, I am filming a newborn essentials video of like new stuff that I've bought or things that I love. So I'll be filming that and my new swing will be in that video. I don't know, Foxy really didn't like it. Tune into the video when I go through my newborn essentials and you can see the replacement that I've purchased instead of this one. Next up is not really a product I'm not using per se I'm just using it differently and it's this Moses basket so with our first baby Fox we had this next to our bed I would lay in bed and then I would lean over pick him up and breastfeed him I'm keeping this but I'm gonna keep it upstairs here because I spend a lot of time in this room with Fox and we like watch movies and stuff like that we have a three-story house so I don't really want to be carting things up the stairs this is just gonna live up here from now on but the reason I'm not going to have a Moses basket as like the baby's bassinet and like primary sleeping place place is because it wasn't practical for me as a mum, as a breastfeeding mum. Now I love these baskets. I think they're super aesthetic. I think they're super cute. They are good because you can pick them up like this, which honestly I never did. The reason I didn't like it is because these handles here, when you're laying in bed, you get up to pick up your baby. These handles really got in the way and I had an episiotomy and a forceps delivery and stitches. So I was really uncomfortable. So like sitting up and leaning over, it just wasn't a good time. There's no ability to stop it rocking. So if you bumped it a little bit, it would rock. With newborn products, there's this fine line between like minimalistic and simple, like the Moses basket, and then like overly technologically advanced with like too many buttons, adjustments. Like I, I want something in the middle and like I don't want a snoo that rocks your baby to sleep, but I do want something that I can like tilt for reflux babies. Honestly, it was just really unstable with like books and towels underneath the front legs because a lot of women like myself, a lot of mums or dads want to tilt their baby so they're sleeping with their head slightly elevated so that their reflux, they're not as like blah, you know, like not be as refluxy. I want a bassinet that kind of gets rid of this wall. I never really co-slept with Fox in the sense that like he was in our bed. I was always too scared. Like I thought I was gonna squish him and he didn't really like it. Like even now he loves his own space, but I really want a bassinet that has the outside side, but that gets rid of this wall. So when I'm sleeping, I can just like roll over and kind of scoop him up to me, especially again, if I have like an episiotomy or a traumatic birth and I'm really sore down there, I wanna be able to to feed lying down as much as possible. My next product isn't necessarily a newborn product, but it is a baby product. It's very, very popular. I feel like if you were born in like the late 90s or I just feel like most people have experienced this themselves or their siblings have. It's a jolly jumper. Now, jolly jumpers were fun, but for us, our family and our home, the negatives outweighed the positives. Fox liked it. He didn't love it. He was like, yeah, whatever. For us, it was so, so bulky. I think also because I didn't purchase the doorway one. So we ended up buying the full on apparatus. We set it up in our apartment at the time. So keep in mind, 
all of this newborn stuff, we didn't live in this house when we had Fox as a baby. So I was very tactical and like minimalistic in my newborn purchases with Fox because we just didn't have the space. It just like took up our whole apartment and he just didn't use it enough. I think this is a really, really helpful one and one that you only know if you've experienced it, but every mom is completely different. I'm gonna go ahead and say like, it's most likely that your baby is going to spit up or throw up sometimes. Like their babies, they drink milk, it comes out a lot of the time and I thought I would love them so as you can see by the shape they're kind of built or designed to go around your neck with this little nook so that when you burp your baby or more so this way with the cherry toweling you burp your baby it kind of is structured to your shoulder no honestly I don't like any structured burp cloths I find these way way too small like they're just too structured and if your baby is a projectile baby, it's gonna throw up down your back. Like you need more, like you could literally use a beach towel. Not really, like that's pretty excessive and that's a lot of washing, but I just didn't find this big enough. And then I would try to wipe up his mouth and then I had nothing else to wipe up my shoulder with. So I kind of told my mom that and she went out to like Big W or something. I don't even think these are burping cloths. These are just like old school nappies, my mom calls them. Like these are the kind of nappies that I grew up in. Like my mom would just have these white towels and like wrap our butts in them. Obviously they're not like super aesthetic or like cool looking but they are so practical I mean I've always been a pretty practical mom but I feel like even more so being my second baby I'm like sure I want things to look cute and cool and like the colors to match and everything but like this is just practical and I would also leak sometimes so I'm like mopping myself up like you need so many of these so I think I have like 10 of these I wouldn't recommend spending money on like a burping cloth just get these they're so good. I don't even own this product that I hate because I got rid of all of them. I am not buying any button up onesies. I'm all about zippers. Babies have poo explosions on the reg. They poop up their back, they vomit on themselves. Your boobs spurts milk at them like they're always getting changed. And the most annoying thing is changing a button up baby. Like we're all about zip up onesies. Like Terry toweling zip up onesies is the way to go. One thing I found really overwhelming with my first pregnancy and even a little bit with this pregnancy is what products you can use on your skin. There's so many things that are up in the air as well. Like people have different opinions and interpretations of what clean or pregnancy safe skincare is. I found it really overwhelming, especially because I, in my normal life, I use like retinols and serums and things like that. I found it really overwhelming when I got pregnant with Fox what I could and couldn't use. So this video is actually sponsored by Bohemian Skin. They are an incredible natural skincare company that is also pregnancy safe. I've got three of my favorite products here, which I believe I use one of them with Fox and then these two are new that I've been using with this pregnancy. This is the gel cleanser. I love this. I've had so many bottles of this. Like there's only a few skincare brands that I repurchase and this is for sure one of them. But I think my favorite product from them right now is their AHA enzyme exfoliant which I couldn't believe was pregnancy safe when you read that I feel like it sounds intense and you think you can't have it when you're pregnant this is a really beautiful and calming exfoliant for the skin so especially if you feel like your skin's really textured or your pores are really obvious this is usually when I'll use this I use this around two to three times a week so I've actually partnered up with them this week because it is panda week from the 7th of the 13th of November if you're not sure what panda week is panda stands for perinatal anxiety and depression Australia. Panda Australia supports women, men and families across Australia affected by anxiety and depression during pregnancy and the first year of parenthood. Bohemian Skin always support Panda but especially this week from these dates here being Panda Week they are donating one dollar from every sale to Panda. Bohemian Skin is Australia's first pregnancy and breastfeeding safe skincare range so Bohemian Skin have been kind enough to not only support Panda and myself in sponsoring today's video but they've also given you a 15 percent off code it is sarah15 that you can use site-wide i have linked bohemian skin down below as well as a reminder of the code if you did want to use it and try some stuff out thank you for bohemian skin for sponsoring today's video thank you for doing such amazing work for such a great initiative and i really hope you guys enjoy that code and get to try out some beautiful organic natural skincare that is pregnancy and breastfeeding safe let's get back to the products I'm not liking so much. Again, in my humble opinion, another one I think is really helpful for any new mums out there, it's don't be swayed to buy bougie bottles. Like to be fair, I breastfed up until Fox was 11 months and I think we did mixed feeding, like I used a little bit of formula from maybe eight 
months onwards. I was pretty much exclusively breastfeeding for eight months and then I did mixed feeding for like the final few months. I think from like four months onwards, I was also pumping a little bit and Kurt, my husband, was able to use my breast milk that I had stored in the freezer and use a bottle. This is one that got gifted to us. I love it now, like Fox uses it for his comfort bottle. We only have one top and Fox is using it right now, he's asleep. I don't necessarily not like this bottle at all. It's just, if you are going to bottle feed, like formula feed, or you feel like you are going to express milk and you want to you know, mix up with the boob and the bottle, whatever. Fed is best. I just think like, listen to your own mental health, listen to your own body and feed your baby in whatever way works for you. I would recommend asking your close friends and family or listening to me and I'll tell you the brand I like, bottles that their babies liked and they liked themselves. But this is my favorite brand. This is Pigeon. Um, my personal midwives recommended this as well as my sister who is a midwife. My newborn ones are really small. They're just over there, but this is the bigger one. But I got the BPA free one. I know lots of mums like different brands, but just ask your friends. I think it's really good to get like personal experience and not buy bottles because they just look really cute. Buy bottles that are practical and you know that your friends or whoever had good experiences with them. So this was my breastfeeding pillow. Let's give you a demonstration again. Where's my baby bear? Let's say you're in your rocking chair or breastfeeding on the floor even. You are exclusively breastfeeding. You're pretty much going to breastfeed everywhere you can imagine. Cafes, in your bed, sitting on the toilet. I've done it. So this is just really nice because it wraps around you and kind of gives the baby somewhere to sit and like chill out while you feed. The only thing I don't like about this one, I don't know if it's, again, because I have small boobs, my baby has to be really, really close to my body. My boobs, even when they're full of milk, don't get much bigger than this. They get like hard and full, but I don't have like, my boobs don't like droop at all, which I'm like low key jealous of because I feel like it would be easier to breastfeed. I would be holding my baby and the pillow would slip out. So instead of buying a whole new pillow, I'm really lucky that my mom is like super handy and she can literally sew anything. So I haven't asked her yet but I think I'm gonna ask for it for my Christmas present. Make a new like pillow cover for this that has straps, excess fabric. That's what I'm trying to say. Comes off the edge and I can tie it around me. So I could literally like walk around the house and it's tied around my waist. Does that make sense? My list is so big. I'm like trying to cull and be like, only pick the really helpful things to talk about because I could, I could make this video so long. But one thing I won't be doing, I wonder what this one is made out of actually. I can kind of make the tip more specific. This one is still 100% organic cotton. Okay. Especially when you go home from the hospital, if you are going to use these muslin wraps and wrap your baby in them or just like use it as a blanket, pretend you have hands of silk. Pretend you have a newborn face, basically, is what I'm saying. So I took Fox home in this one. Here's a picture of Foxy. He's been in the world for like two hours in this photo. Here is a video of him after a few hours. This on my hands feels pretty soft, like not super silky. What's the word? textured, some would say, like it's nice, it's cotton, whatever. It was way too abrasive. Perfect word, Sarah, way too abrasive. Way too abrasive for my newborn's skin. Like he has just been in my womb of jelly and water and all that good squishy warm stuff. And going from that to this was way too abrasive for him. One thing I'll be doing this time is just being much more purposeful and like obsessive with what I bring this baby home in. I believe this one is cotton as well. I think it's just the way this one's like, a, can you tell? It's kind of got like those crinkles and it's just a lot. What would you say is softer? Oh, that, sure. Yeah, I'll zoom out so you can be in the shot for a bit. So I think we'll bring our baby home in one like this. So I love this muslin wrap. I still think it's beautiful, but just for those first few days where your baby is like super sensitive and their skin's like butter. I can only do one also. That's okay. Would you like to talk about this and why oh, we are getting something different? Ta-da. It plays like a little sound, like a shh. Do you know what, what it's is, called? What is the noise called? White noise. Remember. White noise, that's it. Why not to get this? Cause it has batteries and batteries suck when they run out. <laughs> Here's the thing. I think we will use this one for the pram. Like mm. if you're going on a long walk and your baby wants white noise, or if you're going to a cafe mm. and your baby's asleep, these are awesome for like traveling with and being portable. So we're stupid and we bought like three of these, one for the pram, one for the room, but for the room, 
this time we've got a whole new one which I will show you in that newborn video but basically it's electric so you have to plug it into an outlet and there's no batteries so it can't die. This one I won't be using for sleep time at home because you're always on edge thinking are the batteries gonna die. I need to go I'm sorry I would love to you know stick around and be part of this. No you wouldn't. I, I love you. Go to go. No. Hi guys. <laughs> Again, if you are breastfeeding your baby, not even hot, it doesn't even have to be hot, it has to be like a normal day, don't wear this, okay? This was my favorite knit, but she, she's thick, okay? She's thick. What are you? Cotton, acrylic, wool, and nylon. Looked really beautiful, we went to church, I had my newborn, woohoo! We went to breakfast after church, we went out to a cafe, and I tried to breastfeed in this jumper. I'll just put it on like this because it's gonna wreck my hair, but basically, when you're feeding your baby, you don't wanna suffocate them, right? I like to be a little bit modest in public, each to their own, like if you wanna flash a boob and like feed in front of me, I'm all for it, free the nip. I just don't want other people to feel uncomfortable, you know? I ended up holding this up here, it was so bulky, I was sweating. I remember the feeling of the sweat drips dripping down my arm. Fox was about to get suffocated with cotton, nylon, and wool. And I just remember thinking to myself, I am never wearing a knit again. Ever. While that's not really a pregnancy product or a newborn product that I'm not using, it's just something that I won't be doing. It's really hard to find like cool breastfeeding friendly clothes. Like even this right now, I couldn't really wear this. Like maybe this a little bit. I probably could. I probably could wear this. Like I said, I have a huge list here, but I feel like I am just going to be talking for days. But I hope this was helpful for you guys or maybe just entertaining. I know there's a lot of you right now watching this who aren't even pregnant aren't mums, aren't even looking to have babies in the near future, but you're just like me. Like I would watch these videos when I was like 19. I've just always gravitated towards content, I guess, surrounding babies and pregnancy and motherhood. I've just always loved listening to it. So yeah, don't feel like you're not welcome here if you're not in this phase of life right now. Everyone is welcome to watch this video. I hope you learned something. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really, really supports my channel and makes me know that you are enjoying these kind of videos. And of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every week, whether they are day in the life vlogs, their workout vlogs, what I eat in a day or videos like this. I will see you in my next one. Bye.